Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something that you guys have been requesting like crazy and it's to share kind of how I take and edit my Instagram photos to get the theme that I have. So a few months ago I decided I kind of wanted to change out my Instagram and give it more of a fresh white and bright theme. I also try to stick like hints of blue in as many pictures as I can so I will kind of show you guys what it looks like here. I'm really loving the way that it looks right now and you guys are too so I thought that I would share all of my secrets. Okay so I'm going to show you guys how I edit them. I have a little folder on my phone for just like my photo editing apps. And the two that I use are Afterlight and Facetune. So we're going to go ahead and use Afterlight first. And I'm going to show you guys how I edited my two recent pictures. So this first one is me like eating a little snow cone. And just a little tip, always be on the lookout for like a really cool white wall or like a white building. Anything that has a lot of white behind you. So like the ocean, anything like that will help enhance that theme because you can edit your pictures like this but it won't really work unless you already have a ton of white in your photo. So as you can see, the pictures that I take already have a lot of white in them and I'm just kind of like brightening them up and enhancing them. So I'm gonna choose the photo and this is what it looks like to begin with. So the first thing that I do in Afterlight is brighten it up a little bit. So you just go to the little sun and brighten it up to about there. And then from here you can do a few other things, just depends on the picture. So this one I don't want it to be too washed out. I'm going to add just a little bit of contrast and a little bit of saturation, like not much, just a little. And then the filter that I always use, um, just go to like that rainbow wheel, guest, and I always use the rust filter. And that really makes things pop. It makes things like really white and also vintagey looking, but I usually like never use it at 100%. I'll go down to around 50. Save that and then that's when I go into Facetune. So we'll go to camera roll. Open this photo up in the Facetune app. Okay, and there's only one thing that I do in this app and that's to actually whiten my photos. So I choose the whiten. I got this tip from Megan Rinks and you just kind of like use your finger and white in all of the white areas of the picture and it really brightens it up easily. So make sure you get all the spaces. Okay. And then I save it to camera roll. And then I like the way this looks, but sometimes after whitening it, things get a little too dull. So I will here and there go back into Afterlight and up the saturation after that. So I'm going to do that right now. But you guys don't have to go through all of the work that I do. And then we're ready to go to Instagram. Another little tip is I always take the pictures already in square. So when you go to the camera on your phone, you can choose just like photo or you can choose like panoramic like or video, choose square. Then it's already going to be the exact size to like fit Instagram and it makes things a lot easier. I used to use the square ready app to like resize photos, but then it doesn't look as like clean and pristine and I like everything to look the same size and really fresh. So make sure you do that or do like every picture the same way. And then on here, I really love to use the filter slumber and then click the picture and I lower it down to about around 40 to 50. So that's all that I do for my pictures. I brighten things, lighten things, and I use the two filters, rust and slumber. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys one more picture. Okay, so this picture I took the other day in my office, which has a ton of white in it already. But you can tell it looks kind of like dark and dull. So we really want to brighten this up and make it look like it's morning and there's lots of sunlight in my room. So same thing, we're just going to up the brightness and that already makes it look so much brighter. And a little tip, you can even go back in and brighten it some more. Add just a little bit of contrast. And then we will bring this into the Facetune app and whiten it a little bit. So 
So for this photo, my chair, my cup, my desk was already white enough, but I actually wanted to make the wall behind my computer look white. So bring this in and start whitening the background. So it doesn't work on like every color, but anything that's like similar to white, like beige or cream, you will be able to like whiten it. And usually this takes a while because I like to get every little detail, but you guys can tell on the left side of the computer and then on the right side, it just looks so much better. Okay. That's pretty good. And then we will open this in Instagram, add the slumber filter to it, bring it down. And that's it. So that's how I edit all of my Instagram photos. I will link the two apps down below so you guys can check them out. All right, so that is how I edit my Instagram photos. And now just a few tips I already mentioned to make sure you're taking pictures in square. That'll make things a whole lot easier when you're uploading to Instagram or at least making sure everything has like the same dimensions. I know a lot of people like to do like a white border or like a black border. That looks really cool too. Just making sure everything is done the same. So using the same filters and the same techniques every single time is really gonna make your pictures look a ton better. And then also your theme doesn't have to be white. You could do like pops of green or blue or anything. As long as you're doing similar things over and over again, it's going to look really cool. You could even do like really bright, bold colors, anything fun like that. So um, also another thing that I like to keep in mind is I try to take pictures that are different and upload different pictures so that it's not like two pictures of my shoes in a row or two pictures of food in a row. I try to like break things up a little bit. So like I'll do a picture of myself, a picture of the scenery outside, a picture of my outfit, a picture of food, and just kind of break things up again or break things up a little bit. It makes your feed look a lot prettier if you have different things to look at. And then sometimes I love to take pictures just of like the sky or like outside. I kind of like to call them like filler pictures but they make your feed look so pretty and they add like that bright pop of color in there. And then also another little tip, you don't have to do this, but I try not to take a lot of selfie pictures. I'll do some here and there, but if you do a ton, to me, I follow Instagram pages to get inspired and anybody can take a selfie. So I feel like that's not super inspiring. So try to take cool pictures when you get the chance and you won't regret it. All right, and the last tip that I have for you guys is if you have a white Instagram theme like I do, chances are there are going to be times when you take a picture that you really want to upload, but it might not always go with your theme. So a good way to kind of make it fit with your theme here and there is to just upload it in black and white. So I've done that a few times, especially on my wedding day. There were quite a few pictures that I wanted to upload, but I didn't really go with my theme. So like this one here. I of course wanted to upload that, but it was like brown and there was green in it. So I just changed it to black and white and it fit my theme perfectly. Same with this one. This was taken in my sister's room and she has like a white bed, but behind me wasn't white and I didn't love that. So I just changed it to black and white and I think it works perfectly. So that is how I have been editing my Instagram pictures lately and kind of the steps I take to get that whole white theme. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, you totally should. I obviously post on there all the time. I have a lot of fun with it. So I will leave links to that down below as well as my Snapchat because I post on there daily too. So I hope you guys follow me there. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I know a lot of you guys requested it, so please give it a thumbs up. I really want this video to get to like 5,000 thumbs up, so I hope we can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!